So, feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This time, uh, Mr. Morgan is meeting John, the guy he saved from wolves in a while back. And they are going to, well, do something illegal, and it involves sheep. This is called The Sheep and the Goats. And we will get on with this adventure. So, feeling better? How's your scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Uh, Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you? It just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. There's going to be a long walk and conversation to the next part of this mission, so I'll do a little fast-forwarding to shorten the length of the video. A gun store? Yep. Can you uh, head in and pick up the sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Yeah, you buy a particular gun on credit, and, well, you know, things are probably not going to work out too well. So, yeah, I'm just going to fast forward again until we get to the next major part. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. John and Mr. Morgan and I are off to steal some sheep and catch or cash in on that and make some money. Yeah. Uh, they need the sniper rifle because they don't want to get up close and personal with the ranchers herding the sheep and yeah it's it's this is not one of the more fun missions okay i think that's them over there so what now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only branch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> yep, that spooked them all right. One of the things I really, to be honest with you, don't like about Red Dead Redemption are the controls are not very intuitive and the game is not very instructional on how to do certain things. And when it does, the timing of that is, how shall I say, poor and lackadaisical. So now you got to ride down and round up the sheep and herd them toward the market to make money. They're pretty 
scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Yeah. Shut your mouth. You know what? Marsh, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. You really don't need your gun during this event to shoot above the sheep and scare them, which I accidentally do, and now i got to go round up some damn sheep. Again, the instructions are not very good or very intuitive, and yeah, it's one of those things where now i got to round up some sheep and then herd them. I'm just going to fast forward through all of this and get them to market. Now that the sheep are close to town and we can get them herded into the market, things don't work out quite as John had planned it. And, well, it starts to cause other issues. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Oh, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Now, that was just the first half of the mission. And you have to, uh, how shall I say, meet Dutch at the saloon. And this raises other bigger problems. Yeah. Again, this is one of the problems I have with um, Red Dead Redemption 2 is sometimes the mission is not over. It's multi-parts and it gets to be a little convoluted here. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromises. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold. My good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the... Dutch Vanderlyn Finishing School has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Vanderlyn! You don't know me! 
me that you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please. Gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am... I did some quick editing there because Mr. Morgan got shot and, well, you start at a certain checkpoint, which I see is good in regards to Red Dead Redemption 2. You don't lose 10, 12, 15 minutes of gameplay because you get near the end of a mission, you die, and you got to start all over again. This is a gunfight. Just keep it to the revolver. Don't go to a shotgun or a carbine because the revolver is, how shall I say, good enough in this event to use and shoot down the uh, guys who are trying to kill you. What's aggravating is the other guys could have picked up Strauss. Instead, they rely on Mr. Morgan to do it, and he's got to carry the guy over to the horses, put him on the back of the horses. They ride out, and then he's got to hold off the other guys. Yeah, like I said, it gets to be a little convoluted and a bit of a pain in the ass at times. And let's get out of here. <laughs> get him on the horse and let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're going to gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go. <laughs> oh. yeah. Once everyone is gone, you're going to have to get into a gunfight with some of these um, other people. Just kill enough to get to your horse and get out of town and ride out the wanted level, which is dead or alive. If you die, you start from a, another checkpoint, which is 
right here where you're um, fighting these guys here. And it says, Escape Valentine. Yeah. What you got to do is get on your horse and ride out of town and ride out the wanted level. With a little more gun battle, I finally realize it's time to get out of Valentine and ride out the wanted level. There's a couple of guys pursuing. Uh, on a full gallop, it is really hard to try and shoot these guys. So I'm trying to slow the horse down and at least get to where I can shoot the pursuers. And they are, it, like I said, on a full gallop and through all this brush, it's really hard to try and shoot the bad guys. They're not going to let up. And I shouldn't say they're the bad guys. They're kind of, well, the law. But, whoops, coming to a cliff here. Mm -hmm. Again, these guys are going to continue to pursue you. And you got to shoot them. Otherwise, your wanted level will not go down. I finally bring the horse to a stop. I'm going to try and take these pursuers down. Uh, I'm going to use some tonic eventually to get Mr. Morgan's health up. But, yeah, this is where these guys are running around. It makes it difficult. And the controls on Red Dead make things difficult. I finally shoot this guy here, and, well, the other pursuer is dead too, so I'm going to try and steal from this guy, loot, and get my wanted level down. Again, red dead, you have no more pursuers, so you have to ride out the wanted level. Well, the wanted level is ridden out and mission is complete. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. I like responding to comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos a week and you don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.